Hello and welcome to another quick DaVinci Resolve 16 grading tutorial. Today we're going to be building a simple sky replacement using the edit tab and the color tab. So after applying some basic adjustments, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find a suitable replacement for our sky. What I like to use is Pixabay. Pixabay is basically a giant library full of royalty free stock images. So I'm just going to type in sunset. We can have a browse at a few of the skies here. I quite like this sky. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, click this guy. I'm already logged in, so I can just hit the free download and download it in HD. Okay, so that's downloaded. So if I jump to my media tab with shift two, and I can find my image here, click and drag this guy into my media pool. Um, so I'll jump over to the edit tab with shift four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my clip up. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag my tree JPEG underneath. Obviously you can't see it because it's hidden below my V2. So jumping back to the color tab with shift six, the next thing I want to do is I want to composite my sky uh, to replace this section of my image. So to do that, I'm going to create a new node. I'm going to right click in the space between the nodes and I'm going to add an alpha output. This creates an alpha output, which I can connect my node to. Now that my node is connected to my alpha output, whatever mat I create on this node will pass through to the layer below. So for example, I could make a hue saturation luminance qualification, and you can see that that's cutting through to my image below. But what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go ahead to my shapes and just create a nice simple gradient shape and down. So you can currently see that the image is inverted. It's cutting through at the bottom section of this image instead of at the top. So how do I fix that? Well, if I go to my key tab, you can see on the key output, there's an ability to invert the mask. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And now you can see that my mat has been inverted, which gives us the desired result. If we go back to our shape and we might just reduce this a little, bring it up a touch. That has done a pretty good job. So the two things for me, the color doesn't quite match. And also it would be great to apply some gray layers to our new comp to blend these two layers together. First of all, let's address the color. So I'm just going to go ahead and click my layer one, which brings us to our sky layer. And I'm just going to go to my color wheels. I'm going to balance out some of the more intense red hues and try and blend a little bit more yellow back in. I might also just desaturate a little. Okay, so I think that's helped. Secondly, I'm going to add a new node with Alt S and I'm going to go to my blur tab and just add a little bit of blur and maybe a little bit less. That's nice. Just taking the edge off a little bit. Okay. Um, the last thing that I want to do is just add some overall texture to our new composition. So to do that, I'm going to jump back to the edit tab with shift four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lasso my two clips and create a compound clip. Right. You can see that this compound clip is accessible in the media pool. I'm going to jump back to my color tab with shift six. So now that we've got both elements comped together in this compound clip, I'm going to do a little bit of an adjustment here. Nice. And I might add a vignette. couple more effects just to blend this through. So I'm going to go down and find some film grain that so you can see, especially in the highlights, what that's doing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, add a new node, lens flare. Cool. Drag over to my sun. Go to my global corrections. Might make this a little more anamorphic. I might go ahead and add a shape to this. and blend it back out. So the sun flare just adds another layer on top of my composition, which again, really helps to blend in this comp. So if we shift D to bypass all of our notes, you can see a rather dramatic change. 
And that's it. That's a really simple way to do a sky replacement in DaVinci Resolve 16. Um, I hope this was useful. If you learn something new, um, go visit my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys.